If there's an issue with one of my Power BI reports, I'd like to get a message on my phone straight away before the end users start calling me to say there's an issue. I'll show you how you set it up. Let's go. I have a very simple model here with a fact table with some items and units and a lookup table, dimension table with the item code and the item name. And that produces this simple little report showing me apples and bananas. Okay, very simple. Here's my tables. That's my fact table. And my item table is A and B. So I've basically got this dimension table that let's say I'm having to maintain it manually in Excel or SharePoint list or somewhere like that. So what can happen is that my shipping data might have some new item codes and I then need to update my mapping table. So let's see what happens. So if I go to um, my item table, well, my shipping data here, and I edit the query, I've actually filtered out a couple of new codes. So I've got this filtered row step at the bottom. So let me just get rid of that. So here's the new items, C and D. Close and apply. The report will refresh. And if I have a look at the report, I've now got these 16 items blank. Now I'd like an alert as the report owner. I want an alert to pop up on my phone to tell me there's something unmapped. We just want to create basically a list of all the mismatched items. Now I'm going to write a measure for this, but just to step you through the logic, first of all, I'm going to create a table to show you this. So if I go to new table and something like new items, let me just zoom in here, equals. Okay, there's a function called accept. It returns the rows of the left side table which do not appear in the right. So any new items in my shipping data, my fact table, that don't appear in my mapping table. Okay, accept. So I only want to compare two columns with, it, with each other. So I'm going to use the all function to get the shipping data item code. And I'm going to compare that using the all function to get the item table, my lookup table item code. Okay. And I press enter. And here we go. We can see items C and D are the new items. So that's the concept. Now a measure can't return two rows, but you can use the concatenate X function to iterate through this table. So this table that's being created, iterate through that and then join the items together. Okay. So I'm actually going to copy this bit of code here and go into my report view or anywhere really. Go to my measures table, my measures, new measure and call this list of um, unmapped item codes equals. Okay, I could just wrap this thing inside a concatenate X, but let's use some variables just to break it out a bit. So var um, exception table equals that little bit. Var result equals concatenate x. So iterate through underscore the exception table, grabbing the item code and separating it with a comma. Okay, and then return result. Let's just check that out. So we'll go for a card visual, list of unmapped items. There we go, C and D. Um, and just, let's add a little comment. Codes to item table. Okay, and these sorts of descriptions as well, you know, you can actually put them in the comments field against the model. So under here, under properties for this description, 
know, you can add it in there. Oh, my spelling wasn't great. Okay. And the good thing about that is that when you're, you know, looking at a measure down here and you hover over it, it'll actually give you the description, which is great. Okay, then, in order for this to trigger an alert, I need a count, basically a one or a zero of whether there's some issue or no issue. So when there's no issue, this goes blank. So all I need to do is go right click new measure and call it um, item codes need updating equals and a simple little if statement. So if is blank, the measure called list, so square bracket list of item codes, then one, sorry, if it's blank, then there's no problem. Otherwise, there is a problem, give me a one. Okay. And I can put this, and actually this one, I'll cut this, put it on my hidden flag sheet, and I'll add another card visual, and add this little trigger here. Okay, items need mapping. And look, just a bit of a tip, when you're doing these sorts of you know audit measures or checks, you can put them both into a little folder called Z checks, and then they appear down here, okay, at the bottom. So this is a one. Okay, this is going to be my hidden sheet, so the end user will never see this, but don't hide it yet. Right, I am going to publish this report. Oh, one thing actually, one thing. I want to be able to have a button to jump me back to the other screen. So one second, insert uh, buttons, just go a blank button, that'll do. Add an action to take me to the page navigation report. Okay, and add a bit quick bit of text. Go to report. So everything's set up. I'm just going to, I don't need this new items anymore, so I'm just going to delete that. That was that temporary table I just used to demo the measure. Um, right, so with my shipping data, I am going to go and say edit query. Okay, I'm just going to go and put that filter back on for C and D, just as if there were no issues. Just to imitate the fact that there's no problem and just check out my measures working. There you go, there's a zero. Okay, I'm ready to go. So with my report page selected, there's no issue here. I go publish and save. And they, I'll then go to the YouTube's demo workspace I have. And if I click on open my report, Here we go, here's the report and here's the hidden flag sheet. Not hidden yet, okay? This is the magic bit. You come here, go to your zero item needs mapping, click on the pin visual and create a dashboard called something like admin only alert pin. Go to dashboard. And this tile here, this is not what you share with the end user, it's just for admins. You click on the three dots and you say manage alerts. Okay. And you say add a rule and you give it a decent name. I would put the report name in, the, in there as well, just so it's nice and clear. And whenever the condition is above zero, fire off an alert. By default, every 24 hours, but you can check it out every once an hour if you want until you fix it. Um, and that'll send you an email. Okay, send me an email. However, you can also trigger a flow to send an alert to your phone. So you need the Power Automate app installed on your mobile phone. But then once you come here and you can say continue, you pick the drop down box. And I found this, it takes a little while for this to come through. I've even found it's much quicker to go back in here, click save and close. Okay, then go back to your flow and even come back here 
or actually refresh the browser. And here's your alert item. So once that alert gets triggered, you want to uh, get a notification. So search for notification. There we go. Send me a mobile. Like, in, like I said, you need the mobile app, the, the Power Automate app on your phone. So add a descriptive message, you know, error with report X, Y, Z. Put a link to the tile. And for the link label, maybe the alert title and click save and your flow is ready to go. Okay, so with that set up, let's go back to our Power BI report. You now hide this sheet. Okay. So click save. Right, we're all good. Everything's working nicely. You know, we're not getting any alerts. I am going to bring back those new items and get the alert to trigger and see the message on my phone. So if I go back to shipping data, edit query. So here I am with the new blank item showing. My flag sheet has that warning. Okay, so if I go save and I'll click publish, it should trigger the flow to send me a notification. So I'll just bring my mobile phone screen on here, okay, and we'll give it a go. So publish the YouTube demo, replace the existing data set, and in theory, it should trigger the alert from the card visual on the dashboard, and I should get a notification on my mobile phone. So then I can click on the hyperlink. And as long as you've got the Power BI app on your phone, it'll then take you to the alert. You can actually click on the drop down, go to the three dots and even open the report. Okay, so there's the issue. And I can go to the report if I want to by clicking the button in the top left corner to see the issue. Right, so that's it. Let me know what you think. Please leave some comments, give it a like, subscribe, and please tell people about this channel. Hope you have a great week. Catch you later.